Thanks for staying with us. To health matters, a chronic yet lifelong disease may not be very common, but the people affected by it are most times in a lot of pain. Lupus is one of those diseases with no specific cause and no cure. Inyolua Popola digs deeper into how the people affected by it manage the disease while going about their normal lives. Her report. Fatigue, joint pain, rashes, and constant fever are some of the symptoms of this non-curable disease called lupus. With over 100,000 cases every year, it is still not widely known, likewise the causes not understood by the doctors. For this group of lupus champions, this foundation is creating more awareness to ensure many people are well educated about the disease. Lupus pain, I like um, it comes in any version. It could be in the head today, back tomorrow, anywhere of the body. It could be any organ at any time. So, but once we have hope, love, and care. We are good to go. The nation, as a community, we must take special cognizance of these people that have autoimmune disease, the lupus, the multiple sclerosis. We must start looking for them, looking at them, and supporting them as a nation. One of the patients who caught my attention was Sekinat. She is a 16-year-old lupus champion who was diagnosed early this year. On one of our regular checkup days, I met with a rheumatologist, one of the very best in West Africa. He explains that it is a disease where the immune system attacks its own tissues and can happen to anyone of any age group. Lupus is a very complex disease and it can present any help. An average Nigerian would come to us with a recurrent fever which would have been diagnosed as malaria, typhoid, malaria, typhoid, over and over again. They would also present with extreme fatigue. They just wake. They wake up in the morning and don't feel like doing anything. He emphasized that so it may not be curable, but it could be managed Easier properly. Tests, uh, so what we ask them to do is that they must prevent unnecessary exposure to sunlight because that seems to precipitate what you call a flare. A flare is what is common in lupus, in which they have either exacerbation of their symptoms or their complaints, or new uh, complaints coming up, or that sometimes will require their change of drugs, or may even require admission. I then took a ride down to see where Sakina lives with her family. She explains how the symptoms kept changing until she was diagnosed with lupus. My face was swollen, my neck. My dad told that, that we should go for checkup. We went to the hospital. They asked us to wait for the test. So I sat for like two hours. When we got home, I was not able to I was not able to stand. My leg was paining me, my knee. I don't know anything. I was so surprised that uh, but I used to sit more than two hours before. So why why is it now? like this now. Then the next day, I said I was not able to stand up, I was not able to move. I can't even see anything. So I was depressed that, what did I do wrong? What's the meaning of this? Why will I have lupus? For young Sekinat, she believes lupus is not a death sentence and says she will not give up on her dreams. Not to give up. Because I know all those, there's no cure. I don't believe in it. I know God's going to do it one day. So they shouldn't, they shouldn't give up at all. I want to go to school. I want to continue. I really love education. Her mom, a mother of four, had to quit a job to take care of Sekinat while a father drives for a living. The flare is snorting to that woman about because if she's shouting here, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how strong man that person will be. She person will cry. Seeing her in that pain. She's saying that she has something at her back because she can stand or sit. She cannot stand alone just like that. Any time the back will go. With more doctors specializing in rheumatology in Nigeria, more and more people are becoming aware of the disease in order to prevent late diagnosis. <laughs> Lupus. 
an autoimmune yet non-curable disease. Now for this family, they might have spent a lot of money, be in debt, but they are still hopeful that the constant pains will subside for her to live a normal life and just maybe get back to their usual daily activities. In New Lua, Opola, TVC News, Lagos.